Hello, everybody, and welcome to the lab here at CEM. Today, I'm joined by application specialist Anthony Denisi, and we're going to show you how to run a sulfated ash analysis in the Phoenix Black. Anthony, so I see we've got the sulfated ash set up here. The Phoenix Black, this looks really familiar, but what's all this other stuff? What do we got going on here? So when we're running a sulfated ash sample, we typically add some sul uh, sulfuric acid up front, which runs throughout the entirety of the test. And so basically we want to take that acid vapor that's running during the test and put it into this scrubber system so that an acid vapor is completely removed from the atmosphere during the analysis. So the acid vapor will come through this quartz bridge into this scrubber system, which has sodium hydroxide, water, and an empty bottle followed by a carbon filter to remove all of the vapor. All right, Anthony, so we've got the scrubber system on the outside of the unit. Is there anything unique going on inside the unit? There is. So typically when you're running samples for sulfated ash, you're going to use that ash for some sort of further analysis. You really want to make sure that you're not getting any contamination into your sample. So there's a quartz plate that sits at the top of the furnace to prevent anything from falling into your sample, and it's very easy to clean. That makes perfect sense. All right, so that all makes sense. We've got the scrubber system here. So, Anthony, how do we run a sample? To run a sample on the Phoenix Black Sulfated Ash System, first you want to take your pre-ashed crucible and you want to weigh a designated amount of sample into it. Then, you want to add just a little bit of acid to wet the sample. After you've added your acid, you can input the sample into the Phoenix Black. You close the door and hit start. That sounds pretty simple, Anthony. So one thing I noticed is that you didn't mention anything about a pre-ash step. So typically with sulfated ash, you've got to pre-char your sample over a Bunsen burner. Do we not have to do that in this case? Not in the Phoenix Black. Everything is done all in one method and you only have to input the sample once. Makes sense, that sounds pretty easy. All right, Anthony, I heard the vacuum pump just click off here. We've got no more bubbling going through that scrubber system. So where are we in the process? Yeah, so at this point, the pump and scrubber system has turned off because all the acid has been boiled off. There's no more vapor to worry about at this point. And we'll just allow the Phoenix Black to continue the ashing process until the sample is ashed to completion. Perfect. Now that our method is finished and our sample is completely ashed, we can remove our sample from the Phoenix Black put it in a desiccator to cool, and then re-weigh. Let's do it. All right, Anthony, thanks for showing us how to run a sample, but the big question that I've got in my mind is, what about the results? What kind of number did you get for your final ash? We were expecting 1.10% ash, and we got 1.10% ash. Perfect. So that's a summary on how to run the sulfated ash option on the Phoenix Black. I want to thank Anthony here for running us through that process. I want to thank you for watching along. If you have any questions, go ahead and send us an email at info at cem.com.